हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय लीगल क्लासेस दिस इज गणेश पुजारी एंड आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी गॉन थ्रू माय सेशंस ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रायल एंड देन द ट्रायल इन सेशन कोर्ट दिस इज माय थर्ड वीडियो व्हिच इज ऑन ट्रायल ऑफ वारंट केसेस बाय मैजिस्ट्रेट व्हिच इज डिस्कस्ड अंडर चैप्टर 19 ऑफ सीआरपीसी व्हिच इज फ्रॉम सेक्शन 238 टू 250 now there can be two types of warrant cases one from the police report the other one from private complaint so i have made two different charts for both of them and finally consolidated chart is also available so with that three chart you should be able to understand the trial of warrant cases by magistrate very clearly with that brief introduction i am getting into police report as a first aspect as i said let's start the discussion with cases instituted upon a police report now the entire process has a background from section 207 where police has prepared a report and that report copy to be given to the accused as per section number 238 once after giving that report court will decide whether to continue the hearing on that particular case or discharge before deciding that court will see the report given by the police officer on investigation and if it feels there is no sufficient ground then it can discharge the accused as per section number 239 however if the court feels that there are sufficient grounds then it can frame the charges as per section number 240 and after framing the charge it asks the accused whether to continue the case or he agrees the guilty now if he agrees the guilty then court will convict on plea of guilty as per section number 241 records the same and convicts him for the offenses however if he doesn't agree then section 242 comes into place where date for prosecution evidence will be given and if any support is required for the prosecution to bring the witness documents or things summons can be issued by the cross court and once those evidences are available in the court the defense counsel can also cross examine the same section 243 is all about the statement by the accused and the accused can bring back all the witness record and things as per the requirement however court to decide whether to bring all those witness record or things again to see that time is not wasted and whenever court feels accused is simply wasting time on this it can decline bringing them again now once after all these process are completed section 248 is all about deciding whether to acquit the case or convict the case now if it is convicted then court has to see two important aspect one section 325 if the punishment is severe than the court jurisdiction then it can pass the cases to the upper courts and if the court is deciding the punishment it should also see 360 section which is on probation for the first time offenders those points that is section 325 and section 360 to be kept in mind while giving the conviction punishment now what happens if the person who is complained is not available in the court section 249 says if the offense is non cognizable offense court can directly discharge the case while the complainant is absent and section 250 says if there is a compensation to be given to the accused because if there is any false accusation made court will give a show cause notice to the person who has accused on those person and if he fails to prove that the uh, those were accused then in that case for merely wasting their time and money court can ask him to give compensation for all those false allegations that is about cases instituted upon a police report with that i am moving to complaints this slide helps you to understand the cases instituted on a private complaint section 244 says that the prosecution has to provide all the evidences and to provide the same if it needs the support of the court court can issue summons to the witness documents and things and after seeing all those documents evidence and things if the court is satisfied that there is no sufficient ground it can discharge the case as per section number 245 or if it is satisfied that there are sufficient grounds then it can continue with section number 246 where it will prepare the charges it will read out the charges to the accused and it asks the accused whether he is agreeing the guilty or he want to continue with the trial 
Now, if he says that he will continue with the trial, then evidence for defense will be brought, then provisions under section 243 to be again considered, which is discussed in my previous slide. Then it continues with the same pattern, which we have discussed for section number 248, 249 and 250. Now, let us see all of them in one single slide so that you have entire concept in your mind. This is the chart where I am trying to sum up the entire chapter 19 of CRPC in a single slide. All the yellow boxes are for police report, blue boxes for the complaint and green boxes are common for both police report and complaints. Police report starts from section number 207 reference where we need to comply by giving the copy to the accused as per section number 238 and then court will see if there is sufficient grounds and if it feels there is no sufficient grounds it can discharge the accused as per section number 239 and if at all it feels that there are sufficient grounds then it will frame the charges as per section number 240 and inform the accused about all the charges and ask the accused whether he agrees the guilty or wants the trial. Now if the accused agrees the guilty then conviction on plea of guilty as per section number 241 which will be recorded and convicted and if he doesn't agree then comes section 242 which is giving the date for prosecution evidence and also giving support via summons to witness documents and things and cross examination will also happen from there after completion of that section 243 is about the statement by the accused and witness things and records can be reassessed by the accused and then it goes to section number 248 now I am coming back to section number 244 which is for the complaint where evidence for prosecution will be taken care at section number 244 and if there is no sufficient ground the same can be discharged by the court at section number 245 and if at all it continues then the prosecution to give all the uh, witnesses based on the charges made as per section number 246 and then 247 is about the evidences for defense and then provision under 243 will be rediscussed which is the written statement by the accused and witness record things which will be called back as for section number 243 and after completion of 247 we are going to 248 where the court will either acquit or convict and while doing so court will see section 325 as well as 360 325 is all about severe punishment if the court is not having jurisdiction to give those punishment then it can refer the cases to the upper court on the other hand, if the offender is first time offender, then it should see the opportunity under section number 360, which is on probation. Now, section number 249 is about absence of complainant, maybe due to death also. In that case, if it is non-cognizable offense, the court can straight away discharge the case. And section 250 is about compensation. If there is any false accusation made and if there is no satisfying reasons provided, then the court can ask those person to pay the compensation for such false allegations that is all about the warrant cases with that i am concluding the trial for warrant cases my next class will be for the trials on summon cases with that i am concluding this particular video thank you so much for subscribing me please like share and comment my videos all the very best for your exams and thank you so much for watching me